Well, hello everybody. I'm starting today's close up in the hallway. I know it's a little bit unusual, but uh, we've got a lot to talk about today. So let's see how much we can get through before we encounter some technical problem that makes the stream stop spontaneously. And uh, just a, a reminder, if that happens, I still haven't had time to fix anything. So if it does happen, we'll have to start a new stream. So you have to go look for that instead of just wait for it to come back because that won't happen. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so here we are with my shoes, and uh, this is the mom cat Puddles. She's the mom cat of the kittens that are in the annex, where is, uh, that's where we're going to go next. We're going to cover, like I said, a lot today, but I'm going to try to get us to see every kitten for at least a second or two so you can see how everybody's doing. Now i got to let you know up front, um, I'm going to cover a few things, uh, bits of bad news that maybe most of you have heard in the last week. Uh, some stuff that is, frankly, it's pretty sad stuff. And uh, if you're not ready for that, if you don't want to hear it, just just go ahead and turn your sound off. You don't have to listen to me ramble. You can just watch the kittens and have fun with that. And, uh, and you know, it is what it is. So, uh, But we'll get to that later on. We're going to do that after we visit the annex and uh, all that stuff. This is the other mom, one of the other mom cats, Nibbles. Uh, Nibbles is the mom cat of, among other kittens, uh, Spork right there, who's following her downstairs. Nibbles is basically a kitten herself and probably going to go off on a big play with uh, Spork right now. So uh, let's get back to this class, though. So we're talking about Puddles and her kittens. And the reason Puddles is out here and not in with her kittens is, first off, I'm trying to get her to be a little more social. Uh, she's exactly where Nibbles started, where Nibbles would hiss at everybody and uh, want them to stay away from her. Um, and that's still what she's doing, but I'm hopeful that she'll get over that in due time, just like Nibbles has. Nibbles, Nibbles gets along with literally everybody, just great. So I'm hoping little Puddles here can end up in the same position. Uh, the other reason, though, and you're going to notice that she's outside away from her kittens a lot more, uh, is that she's reached that stage that a lot of mom cats reach where she eats just an inhuman amount of food, or in, in feline amount of food, I guess. Uh, just an unbelievable amount um, for no good reason. She doesn't need to eat that much, and then she just ends up having really bad poop as a result of it. And I mean a lot of bad poop. So uh, just like with previous mom cats, we're going to try to uh, keep her away from the food a little bit more often so that she doesn't do that. And so we'll be feeding her kittens by themselves uh, without her around a lot of the time. That way they can eat as much as they want, and she doesn't eat as much as she wants. So you'll notice I've already picked up the food in here. That's why she gets to come back in with us. Hope that makes sense. I think it does. Uh, we've done this for other mom cats, so it shouldn't be anything too unusual. Also, if you look through the door, you can see Serenity sitting right there. Hi, yes, I said your name. I know that door is kind of dirty, or is it just getting cloudy from scratches and stuff? I don't know. Anyway. So, let's see our kittens real quick, and I'll, I'll try to go in order, that way I don't forget anybody, so that means we start right here. This is Raindrop, the girl Raindrop. Look how pretty she is. Look at those belly spots, too. How about that, huh? Um, they must be about six weeks old, because I know they're going to the vet for their six-week checkup on Thursday. I think Thursday. I don't think it's tomorrow. I think it's Thursday. I'll have to check the calendar. Anyway, this week, uh, they're going to the vet for their six-week checkup. Uh, that's their first real checkup. And uh, I know that this is Raindrop because she's got the light face without... She's got big black spots under her eyes. You see that in the corner of her eyes. But she doesn't have the big black spots next to her nose uh, that we will see her sister has. Uh, and then she's got the paws that are all the same sort of grayish-brown color that she is. She's being very patient with all of this. So that's Raindrop. Very sweet kittens. All This whole class is very affectionate and sweet and wonderful and easygoing. So the second one would be Bud, who must be whoop, behind me playing with my feet right now. There we go. This is the one boy in the class. I do believe he's a long hair. He certainly appears to be a long hair so far. He's mostly floof. Uh, I don't know how well that shows up, but you get the idea. Very cute little boy, and uh, also very, just this whole class is very passive and sweet and wonderful and loves their people. So that's Bud. He's uh, basically an all-black, big, fluffy, long-haired kitty. All right. And uh, 
let's see here. That brings us to the third kitten would be Brawly, our tortoise shell. Hi, this is Brawly right here, the tortoise shell. And uh, like all tortoise shells, she's a girl, of course. <laughs> Look at her big surprised looking face. You're so silly. Why are you so silly? Good bunch of kittens here. They just they let you pet them and, and manipulate them, and they just don't get too bothered or upset about anything. Just what we like to see. <laughs> She's got big eyes right now, like Ari. So that's Brawly. Now, um, they did go through a little bit of a... Uh, um, like gastrointestinal distress in here and we treated them for it a little bit but i think uh fingers crossed that they're all over it so um no medicine or anything special going on for these guys right now this one is sprout and uh, you can tell sprout by the fact that she's got some uh, light colors on the end of most of her paws although i can see it's starting to turn a little more brown than uh, where it was initially but if you look real close especially like here you can see see those two different shades very interesting colors huh Super pretty. Lots of belly spots there, too. So that's our little girl, Sprout. They're all just so sweet and passive now. They're just like, yeah, you pick me up. That's what you do. I'm cool with this. All right. And then so that brings us to uh, the last one. Here we go. This is the darkest. Oh, no. Eh, we blew it. Well, now I don't even know what's going on. If we are live or not, I'm going to pretend that we are, though. We're just going to keep rolling as though we are on the second stream. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, not something I can solve, but I should uh, try to move this along so that we don't get caught up by the things I know are going to be problems if we go too long. Um, so we had just, though, seen... Uh, let's see. We've just seen whoop, Sprout with the light-colored paws. There we go. And so the last one is our darkest colored kitten right here. And that is, um, uh, don't tell me, Drizzle. Yes, Drizzle. You can tell Drizzle by the big black spots on either side of the nose. You see that, right? So there you go. That's Drizzle. And if you're coming in the middle of this and you're like, why is he just picking this up like he just showed me all the kittens? This video just started. Uh, there is another one for today <laughs> that ended spontaneously. So... There you go. Okay, let's keep moving. Um, so let's stop over next door real quick and see our mom cat. Okay, we're just going to see her for a second. I don't want to touch her too much. Hi. She's kind of a spook, um, but I, on top of that, she loves being petted. If I pick her up, I have to pick her up and bring her to my lap, and then she just cannot get enough of being petted. This is Serenity, and this brings us to our first bit of bad news. So let me say again, um, if you don't know everything that's been going on uh, and you don't want to hear about it, you should probably just turn your volume down or off, and uh, you don't have to listen to me at all. You can just... Just watch the cute little kittens and whatever they're doing. These guys all hear me talking and come over to this window. It's ridiculous. So, uh, all right. I don't see anybody in the chat. I don't know what's going on with that, but um, I know this must be working, so I'm just going to keep rolling. Uh, at least I think it must be working. So, uh, here we go. This, like I said, is Serenity. And Serenity, Serenity, would you look at us? Do you, you want to look at us? Come on now. I'm hoping I can manipulate her into, into looking at us. <laughs> there we go. She is a sweetheart. Okay. So uh, Serenity was going to be our next pregnant mom cat and have some kittens here at the Kitten Academy. But she's not now going to have those kittens. Um, she had a bit of a miscarriage. And so um, 
We just took her to the vet yesterday and had to check up following that to make sure everything was okay. Everything is okay. Her only problem is that she's got uh, a lot of um, diarrhea that we're now treating. And I see some people saying they're watching the first close. I don't know how that works, but I'm just going to keep going. So there you go. Um, so um, let's see here. Um, so that's, that's it. That's it. There's not too much else to say about her right now. She's got the bad poops. Uh, she's going to stay at the academy, even though she's not going to have any kittens with us now. Um, and we'll get her scheduled for her spay as soon as we can. And she just, like I said, she just loves to snuggle. But uh, she's got a little something going on. Uh, she had a temperature when she was at the vet. We're treating her with antibiotics, two different antibiotics now. We've already tried her on all kinds of different foods and uh, diets and stuff to try to get her diarrhea under control. And I haven't been able to. So, uh, you know, now we're on to various different medicines. And I know we'll get it figured out. Uh, and then she will be excellent for somebody to adopt. She's just the, the sweetest lap cat. I come in here, if you haven't seen it on the stream, I try to put it on the stream every day for at least a little while. I come in here, I sit down, I put her in my lap. She won't, she won't necessarily get in my lap on her own or do anything on her own. In fact, a lot of times I have to invite her to eat her food. I have to put her in front of it, and then she's like, oh, okay, this is for me, I'll take it. Um, so uh, she doesn't do that on her own. She doesn't get in her lap on my own. Uh, she doesn't generally come over to me on her own, but if I pick her up and sit down and put her in my lap on the beanbag chair and start petting her and snuggling her, she purrs as loud as an engine and just never wants to stop. I'm the one who has to tell her to stop then and be like, okay, I got other things to do. I can be in there for hours and it's just constant purring, just constant snuggling. So she'll be just a wonderful companion lap kitty for somebody who's probably somebody whose house isn't too loud or chaotic. I don't know. I haven't seen her react negatively to sound or chaos, um, but she is a little bit of a scaredy cat that kind of always runs away. So, all right. Uh, I want to end with the smallest kittens at the very, very end. So I'm going to try to walk around the house with you guys now and find our oldest kittens, two of whom had their spay yesterday. Um, Hitchcock and Scully, I mean, uh, Goblet and... Uh, Goblet and Ramekin had their spays yesterday. The other two are going to have their spays on Thursday. And I just still don't know about Teaspoon. We haven't quite scheduled him yet. So anyway, uh, well, you know, I see you guys saying the sound's delayed. There's literally nothing I can do about it. Uh, I mean, really nothing without just killing it completely and starting a third one, I guess.